Yeah, and so what we're going to do here is we know that there is a par value and redemption, and they're also mentioning book value. So this is going to be a book value intertwined with a bond pricing formula concept type question. So now, first of all, the first thing that we have to do is find out the relationship between two different book values that they present to us here, right? So we know that they, rep, they represent book value at time three, book value at time four, right? So we always gotta know that the relationship between two different book values is always the first book value growing by one effective rate to lead it towards uh, the book value four minus coupon payment, which will lead up to book value four. That is always the relationship. So that means that for, it says practically it says book value four is 8.44 uh, greater than uh, book value uh, three. You know, once that happens, then that would mean that also face value is 2,500. And uh, what else? We know that the coupon rate is um, different percent semi-annual, which is 3.5. So this would be 0.035. Okay, another thing is that for book value three, it's gonna grow by 8% semi-annual, which is 1.04. Now we're able to solve for what book value three equals to. So I'm going to do 2500 times 0 0.035. It's going to be 87.5 here. Now, then I'm going to move this to the other side. And get 95.94. Then I'm going to move this to the other side. I'm going to get a 0 0.04 book value 3. Now I'm going to find what book value 3 equals to. It's going to be 95.94. Yeah, I'm going to manage to get that book value 3 equals to uh, 2, 3, 9, 8.5. So now you're wondering why do we need to find book value 3? Because we want to use to set it equal to the price, uh, bond, the bond pricing formula. Why? Because that's the earliest uh, book value or pres type of present value or outstanding balance that we could start from. So that means that we could do the regular Again, the face value times the coupon rate, which is 87.5 as the coupons that we want to discount back to, I'm going to denote it as T, even though we're going to have to find N because T is denoted as number of years minus three, because we start from book value three as our uh, present value. So we want to compensate for that by discounting it by three. And then uh, we also know that the 8% is convertible semi -annual. so it's at 4%. Um, another thing is that we know that the redemption value is 2,500. And then we have to discount it by V to the uh, semi-annual, so. Okay, but anyway, we don't know at the end of the day, we don't know what n is. We'll denote this as t. So I can use my calculator right now and I can solve for this problem. So I could do 239.85, which is the present value, 87.5 as the present payment, or as the interest rate, 100 as the future value. Compute number of years, 10. So I'm going to have 10 as the number of years. Now that means that, or T, which is denoted as N minus 3. So how many years do we actually have? We actually have 13 years in all. 
Now, this means that if we have 13 years, we also have to note that everything is in the semi-annual format, which means that if we have 13 years, that means that it is equal to two times the number of years that we started with and we had to convert it semi-annually. So how to find the real end before compounding is that we have to divide it by two over here. Look at 6.5, so it makes A our answer.